Hey guys, so I wanted to start this video off and show you how I take care of my curly units and wash them. So this one right here is by Her Given Hair and it is a textured unit. It is their Burmese hair. Now I've already went ahead and bleached the knots in this unit and I did try it on for the wig review. This is after the wig review, I just take it off. I do submerge it in like a lukewarm water as you see right here, especially when it is thick curly hair. So I like to use this three minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner by Aussie. It has avocado and I love the Aussie products. As you guys see, I do use a lot of them in my tutorials, especially the hairspray. But their conditioner is really good. They do have some that specifically for curly hair but I'm gonna just use this one because this is what I've been using for a minute and once I've submerged the hair I want to make sure that it's super wet I just go ahead and I take the conditioner and I'm just going to kind of like rub it in I'm not going to rub it too rough because I don't want the hair to tangle but once I've rubbed in a nice amount and you do want to make sure that you have a nice amount of conditioner especially for textured curly hair I'm gonna just take my comb, and this is a detangler brush rather, and I'm just gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up and I'm just gonna brush this conditioner in. So that's what's still in the hair, it's the conditioner. Like I said, when it's thick curly hair or coily hair, I really do prefer to submerge it in the water first prior to putting anything on it. You definitely wanna submerge the curly hair because it can, you know lock in the water it can suck up the water so with any type of very textured curly hair I do submerge a lot of it into the water and I do allow it to sit in the water for a good five minutes so that way I know that the hair has soaked up a lot of the water and I can go ahead and put the conditioner in it so this is the part where I'm just going to rinse the conditioner out but I'm also going to brush throughly through it before I rinse it all the way out that way it doesn't tangle and do you see these juicy curls really nice and juicy and thick curls now to dry my units I always place it on a mannequin head like so I never blow dry any hair any wig I just allow it to sit overnight it'll dry really fast and because I've already worn this there isn't any lace extra lace to catch onto the pins so when I wash my lace front wigs after I've already worn them I make sure not to stick any of the stick pins into the lace. I'll go on the sides where there's the tracks or just the actual netting like there and I'll make sure that's where I stick the pins so that way the lace does not rip. You do know that it's heavier once it's wet so you want to make sure not to stick any pins into the lace when you have washed the hair and just allow it to air dry overnight now in this bottle it just has conditioner in it and i just want to make sure that it's still a nice wet consistency or substance because i'm going to be adding the mark anthony strictly curls leave-in conditioner this is amazing it detangles and defrizzes hydrates dry and freaky frizzy curls and i think it works really good on curly hair i purchased this for my own natural curly hair but because the wigs, I'm going to also use it in that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just brush it throughly. Like I stated, you want to start at the bottom. This does help a lot with curly hair. Like I stated, I purchased it for my own natural hair. But for me, it just gives like these really nice big succulent curls. Your hair doesn't look dry. And it's kind of like putting the water and conditioner in a spritz bottle. But this is just a lot better conditioner. I did purchase it from Amazon. You can purchase this in store, but some stores carry some of the Mark Anthony products. Now, just to keep the moisture and stuff, I'm gonna be using the Carol's Daughter Milk Moisture Leave-In Conditioner, Conditioner Moisture. I'll leave it in the bottom description so you can see what I'm talking about. But I do like this. Don't put a lot of this in your hair because it seems to get very greasy and weigh it down. But for the most part, it's a great product. You can get this anywhere too. But once I brush it in, I just allow it to air dry. What's up, Diva? Okay, let's get it together, girl. Let's get it together. What's up, you guys? What's up, Divas? What's up, Divos? Why do I feel like I'm not really focused? There's oh. nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my Divas. 
taking over the world. What's up, Devos? What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube fam? Look, your girl, first of all, I got cotton mouth. My mouth is dry. I really should have brought me a thing of water, but we're just going to we're gonna swing through this. We're going to get through this because one of my good friends is coming to town. They are already here, and we are finally going to get to see each other after 10 years, okay? So my really good friend, Brooke, we finally get to meet, so I'm excited about that, and I do have like 30 minutes to kill prior to the visit so i'm trying to just get through this so you guys this wig video it should be easy because it's from her giving here and y'all know they have really nice textured lace front wigs now when they sent this one to me i really thought it was going to be like a lace frontal or even a closure but it ends up being a side part t part this okay. t part gives you plenty of lace on the front and front end you know what i'm saying on the front end girl so that way you can you know pull the hair back and they can see your sides you know some of those other t-parts you don't get nothing honey you're not getting nothing but the band on the side and if you do get the lace it's just to cut off and like there's really nothing there but you you you, you should be all right with this one right here okay it does come with a pre-sewn elastic band in this which is a plus because you could just make it as tight as possible that way you might not have to adhere it with any glue or hairspray but it does come kind of like a little bit pre-plucked and i think it was semi bleach but i had to re-bleach it because i just really want it to, to look as natural as possible now this is what the part looks like on the inside so you do get like a nice amount of parting especially because it's a t-part so you can move it over as far as you want but it is on the right side thank you because i mean i really prefer the right side most of the times so we're just going we're going to do this we're going to do this we're going to see how this work out girl <laughs> I'm 
Because it does expand a lot and I like the texture of this mousse because it's like this creamy feel it's not watery like a lot of mousses you ever notice like with a mousse or even like a whipped cream like it slowly evaporates it like quickly just turns to water well this this mousse it just stays together like look this fell on me and this piece has fell and fallen on me and it's still like intact you see how it's not getting watery so I do use this in my own natural hair this is what the, I actually bought the products for was for my own natural hair but I'm gonna use this one first. Trust every single lie The promises they went on and on But how you coming home Only to prove you want me The make-believe that we're way too deep You made a fool of me A fool of me You had me waiting for you to come home Good time to bad times The moment you saw So you guys, this was super easy. Like this was an easy wig to do. I really didn't need to hairspray it down like that. If you are really like concerned about the sides, like me, like I like little side burn hairs, then you could use the hairspray to like, you know, tap it down, hold it down. Kind of reminds me of like Bohemian. Like I know a lot of girls that can rock this wild, curly, big style. And listen, if you just keep going like this, girl, I like to do it like kind of like underneath and in between. I like to kind of like tease it or rub it and like kind of like loosen it so that way it could get bigger. That's what I'll do with that. And then I also like kind of like tilt my head and lift it so that way it just gets bigger see look it's just getting bigger and bigger i'm gonna say this they gave you plenty of room to part you know right here or move it over a bit plus the sides look so natural and the sides also do give you plenty of lace so that way if you didn't want it all in your face you could still pull it back and it gives you like that natural hairline look and girl i didn't tweeze a thing but this is a cute wig okay go ahead her giving hair it got bigger it looks better as it dries up and gets more fluffier yes honey okay girl get you one of these wigs honey i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will definitely see y'all on the next one make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up share it you know do all that good stuff that you would do for me as i would do for you and i will see y'all in the next I love you guys. Bye. Bye. You're for me, girl.